I absolutely love cheap tools. Let me show you why. Yesterday I got a Home Depot. I get the 144th tooth, three piece set ratchet for 25 bucks. And it's awesome. So maybe you want to compare it though to all my other three. So I got a Tekton, I got an Icon, I got the fake Icon. This is what Mr. Super said, uh, Icon copied. Got the Craftsman 84 tooth, Gear Wrench 122, the Snap on 100th anniversary. And then I got the Husky 144 too. Okay, it's kind of disappointing. Uh, it's not the smoothest one, but it really, if you, if you turn it like that, you could tell how many clicks are in there. It really does have above 120. I can't tell you the difference between the two of these because they're almost identical when you turn it and you start trying to click it, but it's awesome though. For the price, I don't think you can beat it. Is it as smooth as the Snap-on? Absolutely not. The Icon and this rival it. But let me show you this one. It's like butter. There's the brand right there. Oh my God. That This set was like $34 and it came with sockets and a quarter inch. So I think it's one of the best deals. But Getting back to the Husky, wow, you can go pick this up at Home Depot any day, warranty it there. If you could find it for that price, I'd buy it. At 50 bucks, I'd probably still buy it, but oh my God, yeah. Because you're gonna spend 200 plus dollars on one Snap-on ratchet when you can get a Tekton, a Craftsman, a gear wrench, that one, and the Husky for the price of that. To me, it seems like a no-brainer, but I wanna do an in-depth review on these versus the gear wrench, because I think it'd be a great comparison video because they both have high tooth counts. So stay tuned, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.